four easy self-care tips that can drastically boost your mood. If you get home from a day at work and find yourself in a miserable mood, then you have two options. Stay that way or do some work to cheer yourself up. One of these options will result in a more productive and enjoyable evening. This is where self-care comes in. And in this presentation, we'll look at four easy methods to drastically boost your mood. Go for a stroll. Spending time outdoors has been shown to improve your health in countless ways. These range from enhancing the production of numerous mood-boosting hormones via the action of vitamin D to supporting the health of our healthy gut bacteria. Walking helps to relax the mind and encourages creativity and feelings of contentment. Have a healthy snack. When we eat, we release feel-good hormones like serotonin and dopamine. This can help to immediately boost our mood, while increasing our blood sugar will prevent a rise in the stress hormone cortisol. Eat chocolate, and this will be a short-lived high, as the sugar spike will soon rebound and you'll end up feeling guilty. Conversely, though, if you eat a healthy snack, you'll get the added bonus of lots of vitamins and minerals that can even further enhance your mood for the long term. Meditate. Meditation helps to train focus, concentration, and mindfulness. What's more is that it provides you with a way to escape any stressful or upsetting emotions. Think of meditation as a place that you can go to whenever you need to. Call a friend. Calling a friend is one of the best ways to improve your mood. Humans are social animals, and when talking with friends, you will find that this immediately lifts your spirits. A friend can talk you through anything difficult you're going through or distract you with jokes and stories. While calling friends is great for your mood, seeing someone in person is even more effective. Studies show that just looking at photos of people's faces can cause the release of many happiness hormones. If you find that you do all these things and you still can't get yourself out of the bad mood, then you should see someone who can help you deal with your issues. Anger or depression are not problems in themselves. They are symptoms of wider problems that you need to address if you and your loved ones are going to get any peace.